The, the interesting thing about, about Hendrix to me and, and, and even the Beatles and all of that music from the 60s is, is man, those people, those people had to create sound. Like now, you go to Guitar Center and you buy a box and you say, okay, you got chorus and flanging and the delay and reverb and yada yada, and that's it. And, and everybody's got access to the same thing. Back then, people were just, you know, they would do whatever they would do. My brother John, my older brother John, wrote a song. Uh, he, was a, he was a staff writer for A&M back in the 60s. He wrote a song called Little Girl Lost and Found that was just a, a great record. And it started out with this, with this weird uh, piano, little kind of a strange piano part that Roger Calloway played. Okay. But before they cut the piano track, they took m screws and nuts and bolts and they, and, they, and they opened the piano up and they put all of these little metallic th pieces of hardware inside the strings. And they had Roger play this bit. And when you hear this thing, it sounds like no instrument you've ever heard in your life. Because that was the thinking back then. You had to create sound. They had, all they had was a slap back tape to give you a delay and a, and a, and a room that, the, that they used as a reverb chamber. And so, you know, it was, it was, it was, it was, a, it was a decade of creation. Right, the kids today don't know. They, they make rap records in their bedroom and they just 